Hello everyone. In this presentation, we will be considering how to plot survey plan using bearing and distance. In the last lesson, we were able to accomplish our uh, we were able to accomplish this one. We plotted this one using surveyor's unit. But this time around, we are going to be considering bearing and distance. All right. If you want to see the differences, is is here. This was the data we used to plot the first surveyor plan. In this lesson, we considering the second surveyor plan, which is this one. All right, this one we are going to be plotting. All right, and also I want to be showing us how to be able to uh, identify and to bring out the coordinates of all the beacons that consist of the boundary of the plot. All right, so I want to be deleting this one now. I will like that E on the keyboard and enter to delete that. So at first we will be referencing the uh, surveillance plan we are going to be considering in this uh, presentation. So I will enable that as you can see. This is the surveillance plan. All right. If you check here, that this is the area. All right. It's uh, one thousand four hundred thirty point four seven square meter area. All right. You can see the uh, the geo reference uh, coordinates here, the northern and the eastern. Okay. That is the. Uh, Starting point of the uh, of the surveyor plan, all right, which is this point here. So I will be minimizing that. Over here, we want to start to uh, draw the survey plan. But before that, we need to get into the unit to actually set the unit successfully. For us to do that, we type unit on the keyboard just like that, all right. Enter, enter right there. In the unit dialog, this was the settings we did when we were. Uh, Plotting the first of your plan, so we need to change this setting. This time around, we will be considering degree, minute, and second. So we select right there, and don't forget to check this clockwise. All right. So after which, in the uh, in the instruction uh, scale, we will be considering meter right there because uh, the values are in meter. All right. So for the direction, click right there. Our base angle is going to be not. So select that and click on the OK button. Okay. Right. All right. So we have done with it setting we want to start plotting for for us to do that uh, you just just have to type l on the keyboard which is the line enter right there and then we'll be referencing the starting point the geo reference point so we will I'll open this uh this image so uh you can see from what we have there the second survey plans be using bearing and distance starting coordinates or the geo reference point is uh 53 61 uh, 6.02 uh eastern Right and the 27 33 is 05.13. Uh, nothing okay, so we are going to be using this as our uh, initial point. So, uh, I will minimize that. Let's take note of the value five. Uh, the value is five, uh, uh, five three six one two six. All right, so after typing a uh, line right there, you don't need to click, you just have to click on this command prompt and then you key in the value where I was having. We are having a five three, uh six, one. Uh, let's confirm the values right there. Okay, it's the same thing here. Okay, six one two six point zero two. Right, six one two six point zero uh two. Right. So you just do a comma there. Right, you do a comma just like that, and then you check the second value there. The second value there is uh. This is the nothing. The first one we just imputed is the nothing. The second, the second one under it is the eastern twenty-seven thirty-three oh five. All right, twenty-seven thirty-three oh five. Just like that. And then point. Uh, the next one is uh one three. All right, point one three. So we just type one three right there. Okay, you need to confirm this to ensure these uh, values are correct. Once uh, you have confirmed it successfully, you just hit on enter button. All right. So once you hit on the enter button, it has uh, located the first point, or the starting point, or the your reference point of the uh, uh, boundary. All right. So what you just need to do now is you now start to key in the other values. So we will actually refresh the uh, the plan. All right. So you click right there. So we are going this way. All right. So the next point is this is the starting point, and we're having forty six point six point three zero meter, all right. 
and we are having three degree and then 35 uh, uh, minutes so you just have to minimize that uh, come to the command prompt just as i presented it right there you can see you it must be uh, uh prefix with the displacement at before you can start to impute in uh this meter will not be inclusive all right so you, you just have to watch closely observe closely so you will not add this meter all right okay so i just have to minimize that i come to the command line a I, I press my shift key and then uh, key number two to impute the at sign just like that all right so what we have there as the length is 46 just as we have viewed 46 point uh 30 right then all the uh the shift key again then less than okay to impute the angle sign as well and then the angle there is zero two all right degree so just type d right there okay and then 35 minutes all right click right there to have that so this is the point just as we have typed like this successfully you hit on the enter key on the keyboard it will locate the point just like that that is the uh second point so for the top for the uh third point we will straight away enable the uh we enable the plan all right click right there so we are having 32.9.19 32.19 meter all right and then the angle is 95 degree 23 minutes all right i will minimize that so we can't proceed click right there activate the add just the same process and then you enter 32 right there from the so we are plan is 32.19 okay activate the angular sign there and then type 95 degree uh 23 minutes 23 minutes all right so just like this then so just hit on the enter button on the keyboard so that is the uh, third point and for the fifth point you reference the uh, plan again right there this point you are having 46.05 meter all right and then the angle is 180 degree 185 degree sorry uh 185 degree 33 minutes right there okay so you minimize that and then uh, come to the command line follow the same procedure we are having a length of 46 uh point uh oh five right just like that meter then you activate the uh, angle sign right there and then the angle is 185 degree so you put the d right there 185 degree and you have 33 minutes 33 minutes so you put it right there after which hit on the enter key on the keyboard to locate that point okay so this one now is the fourth point so the last point we'll be considering is uh 29.8 uh okay let's uh, reference the plan we have it 29.8 uh meter power 29.8 meter and then the angle is 275 degrees zero minutes all right so i uh, minimize that and straight away repeat the add symbols right the displacement symbols and then you will type the uh the length 29.8 all right and then the angle symbols and then 275 just like this degree type the d right there and then zero zero minutes just like this and then hit on the enter button so you can see it, it has closed the boundary and so if there's a way of plan if there's a way of plan it's not correct or, it, or the, the 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 figures are not well uh, entered you will notice that the boundary will not closed okay so but this one we have entered it correctly that's why you see the boundary closed right there all right so click on the right click and click on enter button to finish your sketch so this is the plan we have sketched successfully all right so the next thing we'll be doing we want to be placing a kind of a decor symbols and then uh, as well uh, we will be uh, uh we'll be uh, generating coordinates for uh the we will be generating nothing and easting for each of these points all right each of these uh because point that is what we'll be doing now and so for us to do that we will first of all make this uh, a polyline and i want to sh be showing you various ways to make this a polyline you can see this is a single line select this one is selected individually okay this one is individual selection when it if, if it's a polyline 
If you select this all of the line with it, select it. So you can do that successfully. If you go back to the home key, right there, click on the polyline, you can be able to carry out what we call a uh, digital uh, sketching. Okay, Pick, you just have to trust along the existing line. Okay, to carry out digital uh, tracing, just like that. Okay. And so if you select it now, you can see all the lines is selected. It's not a polyline, but if I do E on the keyboard, enter and delete, I still have my existing line. Another way you can, I will be showing you another method. The other method is you just need to come to the command point and type uh, BO, right? BO, meaning boundary, enter. So in the boundary creation dialog, you just have to click on this uh, pick point right there and then select the, uh, select this, uh, the center point of the boundary, just like that. Then enter on the keyboard. You will see that this has been changed successfully to a polyline. All right. So having done that successfully, we want to proceed to place points here. Yeah? For you to do that, come to the command point and type PO for point. You can see it right there. Click right there, and then pick this place to place the first beacon there. So once you click there, the beacon has been placed, but uh, uh, the type depends on the type of. Uh, point we are using for the beacons all right so for us to now set the point for the beacons you come to the command point and type p t y p type okay this p type okay click right there so you now see point stars okay so you can be able to choose any of the point stars if that suits what you intended and this is the point size all right so i want to be using this one for the sake of this lesson that one i selected that one and then for the size, I want to increase it to uh, 15, just like that. Click on the OK button. You can see this is now visible now. The one I placed is now visible. So I want to continue to place uh, some other ones. I can change the layers if I want. I change the layers to uh, red, just this color, right? And then I proceed with that layers, right? Just like that. So I come to these provisions and then I type PO for the point, OK? And I pick uh, the point right there. I placed it here. Are we, uh, this is bigger than this, right? So let's check the point type again. Uh, P, uh, T, Y. We have a 15 right there. So let's change it to 10. All right, so all has been changed successfully. What you just need to do now is you type P over the point to place in the rest of the, uh, the rest of the provisions you enter to repeat the same uh, to repeat the same command right just like that okay but this sizes is different from this uh, other sizes okay so we want to make the size uniform the size of the because we want to make it uniform so what we need to do is we will uh, type p type right there okay type p type right there click right there and we are considering 10 as the size click on the okay all has changed successfully so these are the points the next thing we'll be doing is to generate a uh, nothing and easting for each of these points okay we we'll generate nothing and easting for each of this point so for us to do that successfully uh we will we will uh, activate uh, the text command by tapping t on the keyboard enter for text all right so you can see how big the text is okay but we will be doing the adjustment so let's just click somewhere here and you know, create the text uh, provisions right there, just like that, you can as well expand this, all right, and then you can change the, te change the text uh, style to this, all right, so what you just need to do is, uh, you right click right there, and then you click on the uh, insert field, click right there, so in this if insert uh, field uh, dialog, you just need to select uh, object, and then over here where you have object type, you check this provisions, okay, this provision is for you to be able to select the object, so click right there. And then this is what we are going to select, which is this one. The point that we have created, meaning the beacons, right? So you just have to select the beacons right there. All right, so once you select the beacons, you can see in the object uh, property provisions, you have uh, uh, some other uh, uh, parameters right there. So we need to just select provisions right there, positions. So having that position selected, come over this side. What we are considering is the coordinates in the x and y and not in the z so you make sure you don't check the uh, z and then you click on okay so once you keep, click on here okay, you, you have the uh, coordinates right there this one you can see all right so uh and uh after we just click outside of the 
uh, provisions to get your uh, coordinating factor you can see there but if this is big so you just need to allow that and then come to this uh, provision check the text height now you're having text height of the 75 meter mind you the board was set to meter so you're having 75 meter you want to change it to 0 point uh, three or uh, 0.2 that is 200 uh, uh, click right there so you have it uh, tiny as tiny as this okay you can as well decrease that if this is too small you can uh, make it uh, maybe 500 right just like that click right there and then you move it uh, closer to this place so here is this coordinate right so we want to be using the same process to uh, get the coordinate of this point all right now you this is the starting point of uh, uh, the boundary, right? This is the georeference point. So you do the same procedure, T for the text, and then you draw your text box just like that, right? So inside of the text box, you can choose to expand that just like that. So right click and then click on the set field. You carry on the same process, pick uh, object, right? Click right there and then select the positions. Make sure Y and Z uh, is checked, all right? And then click on the OK to add this. Alright, so this is the starting point, and then the, you click outside of that to insert the uh, coordinates. So you select right there, and the text height, the text height, you can change it from 120 to maybe to 1, or uh, let's just make it uh, 1 right there. Click, and zoom closely, you have it, this uh, text height is like this. So let us refer to the, let us refer to the, uh, to the nothing and easting of this starting point to see if it is correct actually so click right there go back to this area where we are having five three six one two six point zero two for the easting so five three six one two six one two six point zero two for the easting so you can see it is very correct all right you can see it is correct there all right for the uh, for the nothing that is for the nothing rather so for the easting we have 27 33 05.13 all right so if you go back to the coordinate we have the actual 7303 05.13 so it is correct all right so this is how you can get the coordinates of various beacons points you can as well uh plus make provision for this for other beacons doing the same process all right i want to also be showing you how to confirm the total square meter area of this uh, boundary all right so let's confirm that on the uh on the survey plan if you zoom closely you can see we have about 1430.47 square meter area which is the whole of uh, the area of this uh, plot all right so let us confirm that for us to do that come to the command line type list list just like that and enter so once you enter you come to uh, the boundary select the boundary area enter so you have this list now you can see the area is 1430.372 all right so and you can see all the nothing and the easting the point is generated here so you can also confirm the point too yeah like the one that you have created if you come closely at the starting point you can see it there all right the uh, y and the uh, x uh, point all right so i'll close that right there so this will bring us to the end of the, the lesson on how to plus of your plan using bearing and distance. Like the lesson and stay tuned for more advanced lesson. Bye for now.